everybody, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thank you so much for joining me on today's video. We are looking at, you already know what you're looking at, man. You do not need my help. However, I am gonna point out a few things on why this particular maker of this car might be a little better than some of the other ones you're looking at. These are detail things, and I'm not suggesting that any of them are bad or any of them are uh, not worth buying. I just wanna show you the difference between price points of why some sell for more than less, and that's what we're gonna spend some time looking at. We're also gonna look at quality of that. We're also a super performance dealer, so we sell brand new ones as well. And having one here uh, just for uh, being able to take delivery of it right today is kind of a cool piece to have. We don't get them very often. They kind of come and go the same day. And so this is gonna be an awesome video. I hope you'll uh, enjoy the time that we spend together. All right, so a lot of people say, man, that is one great looking Cobra, but a lot of times we don't really know why it's a great looking Cobra, just because we like it, we like it. Let me point out a few things in particular on this car, why I say this is a little better looking than some others. First off, we have a 17 inch polished wheel. Like you look at this here and the size there, that's a whole lot of wheel and tire there. Michelin Pilots all the way around, nice aggressive performance tire. Then we have things like the hood scoop, the stripes, we have the oil cooler mounted in the front right there. These are detail things, right? These are detail things that allow us to see the iterations of the model. They make a street version without the scoop, without the roll hoops, with a rear exit exhaust, right? This is a more aggressive 425, what they call super competition edition here, right? This also, this particular one has clear bra on it, right? Because these noses are so low, they're like shovels, chips, rocks, and things like that happen. Uh, and this kind of protects that from happening. The one part I do love so much about this is paint, and I wanna talk about that for just one second. So when we talk about paint, right, we talk about quality of paint. In this case here, this paint is very, very nice, right? However, it's one step above nice and the part that most people miss when they do these cars, and that is when they put the stripes on, they don't clear coat over them. So as you wash this car over time, the, the stripes start to tear on the edges and things like that. They've done this here, and then what they did was they painted the car, then they put the stainless steel rivets in. A lot of times you'll see the rivets are painted over, and those chip and come apart. This is the detail stuff I'm talking about. Here, let's look at the quality of this paint. Come on up here and check that out. When you say mirror finish, I think that everybody here in this uh, scene today would agree that that is a mirror finish indigo blue, indigo blue paint. How you doing? Uh, with platinum stripes, and looks great. The cool thing about this too is, let's say you wanted to get a car like this, but you had to have white stripes. So easy to change. We would just uh, redo the stripes here in white, right? And then clear coat the whole car again. So it could be any kind of changes that you want to make to them. And I love that idea that you could be able to do that here. All right, so there is a lot going under the hood here. And I think we need to spend a minute and talk about that, all right? So this is amazing. Like you want to go to a car show, you open this up and people see the Roush and the Shelby authorized pieces in here. This car has power four wheel disc brakes. This car has power steering, right? This also has the full dress up package in here with dual electric fans and uh, all of the detail braided lines that are in here. Like your tone, that's braided lines. What's the big deal? Well, not so much that braided lines are super expensive. It's the simple fact that every little piece in here is top of the line. This air cleaner is expensive. This tank is not just a tank, it's a polished tank, right? All of the braided lines are in here. This is so immaculate, the ceramic coated exhaust, right? Why is that a big deal? Well, it keeps it uh, from rusting. It keeps it from looking ugly. And you can see the side pipes still look great years and years later. It's just amazing. It does have a stick to hold that up there. I just happen to be on the other side. That's why I'm holding the hood up right now. And these locks, these locks are actually functional in the sense that once you close it, right, you can actually use the key to lock that and keep people from getting in. All right, real quick, I just want to spend a second back here showing you kind of the different iterations of these cars. So for instance, like the SC car might have quick jack bumpers, which are just two hooks on each side. This isn't even here. So that the track, a guy would pull up with a bar, he'd push, the bump, push this down, would lift the car, they could change the tires and back and boom, and be back, back on the track. However, these are not gonna be used on the track. This car's never been on the track. It's got a street bumper on it to protect it. However, if you don't like the street bumper and you like the other bumper, you can get that done. Secondly, this has a real trunk. A real trunk that stays up by itself. Inside here is a convertible top, a soft top that comes with it. And uh, the tonneau cover, which most people use when they go uh, out, because what you do is just uh, snap it on, unzip it, go for a drive, and then 
put it back on and it keeps the whole interior dry. If it got caught in the rain and you were inside, nothing would get wet in there. It makes it really, really nice to work with. And the trunk is all carpeted, it's finished, it's detailed. This is a whole nother level up having two tops, a finished trunk, all of these things is a whole nother level up than other uh, replica cars that are out there. That's why I like to show that off because if you're putting in the effort and detail, you guys need to see it. All right, so I let you walk back and check out this car from the outside. Like you're walking up, you're going to get in your car, right? Handles right here. But this is nice. Listen to this for a second. This is a different level of Cobra than other Cobras we sell, and I'll show you why. So I have a way I get in. This is how I get in the cars. I'm 6'1", and I allow myself I have my little secret way of getting in. A lot of people ask, well, how do you get in these cars? Well, there's so much room. Like I, my legs are all the way extended out. So there's plenty of room for tall people in here. And also too, uh, they make a little smaller wheel if you're a bigger man and you need a little bit more room in here. However, you may or may not need that. This is a real world car. It has a glove box, okay? It has uh, a heater and a froster, like a real car, like a real car, not a kit car, like a real car, right? This has uh, the heater here. It also has uh, windshield wipers with dual speed. So like if you got jammed somewhere and you got caught in the rain or, and you needed some heat in the winter, that's why I love these cars because you can drive them in the winter as well. Also here too, we're talking about Smith's gauges. We're not talking about VDOs or autometers or things like that. This is the way the car would have looked from the factory circa 1965 with these Smith's gauges in there. They're a lot more expensive than the standard gauges because they look good, right? They just look good. You throw in Lucas or Smith's gauges in these cars and you get a real authentic look. Even the mats are custom embroidered. The seats are comfortable. You can go for a drive. There's room in the back to throw some soft luggage in. Can you imagine going away for the weekend in this car here, right? Versus like jumping in your regular SUV and everybody has to have a regular car. But when you get in this car, it is a very, very different experience. All right, so as we close up the video, let's run down a few points today. We have decided that the 427 Roush motor is probably one of the greatest engines ever built the Tremec transmission, the independent rear suspension, the ridiculously beautiful indigo blue paint, 17-inch polished Halibrands, Smith's gauges, the stainless rivets, the correct oil cooler, the details under the hood. This is, a, this is an amazing car. You say, well, Tone, it's still a replica car. Agreed. However, these cars are selling in the millions and millions and millions of dollars, depending on what year we're talking about. This is 2022. We're doing this video. The last one, I believe, just sold for $4 million, right? These cars are a fraction of that because why? Because look how exotic looking it is. It is an amazing, amazing car and it's a new car, right? It has all the modern stuff and it was built today. You know, these cars are built right now as we speak. We're a super performance dealer. This one happens to be uh, a used one, which so rare comes in and stays for one day. I wanted to get a quick video and it's only been here uh, just a short second. And anyway, you're getting a chance to look at it. Hope you can find a way to get it in your garage. Anyway, call us 301. 816-1000 will tell you all about this cool uh, Cobra. And if you don't mind, uh, click the like button down below. That helps us out a lot as well. And if you subscribe to the channel, you get some new content coming out all the time. And if you want, share it with your friends. We appreciate that as well. And I'll see you on the test drive. All right, you always wanted to know, what is a Cobra drive like, right? Maybe you never get a chance to go for one. We're going together for a ride. You and me, we're going for a ride in the Cobra, downshifted. These cars are brutally fast, going straight. However, with a four-wheel independent suspension, big wheels and tires, they also handle really, really nicely. And it's cool just to go for a drive, man. You don't have to kill this car. You can just go for a drive, man. Listen to the sound of those side pipes wailing away on the side there. Shifter in your hand rowing back and forth. I got the heater on right now because it's a little bit of a cool day and it's working like a jam. Although I don't have the right product in my hair, it's a little messy today. I probably should have thought that out a little bit. Anyway, thanks so much for going on a Cobra. Test drive, big motor, awesome day. Thanks again for riding with me. I'll see you on the next ride.